द फोर धाम्स और द फोर अवॉर्ड्स इज द मोस्ट फेमस हिंदू पिलिग्रमेज सर्किट इन इंडिया विच आर बिलीव्ड टू बी द अवॉर्ड्स ऑफ हिंदू गॉड्स इट इज ऑल्सो बिलीव्ड दैट विजिटिंग दिस साइट्स हेल्प्स टू अचीव मोक्सा और सेल्वेशन लोकेटेड इन द फोर डिरेक्शन ऑफ इंडिया द सर्किट comprises of four sites to the north is badrinath to the west is dwarka to the south is rameshwaram and to the east is puri each of these four thams is a site of old temples and religious monuments so friends in this video we will discuss about lord jagannath temple situated in the city of puri in odisha In Puri the presiding deity is Lord Jagannath he is present together with his elder brother Balabhadra and sister Subhadra The state of Odisha proudly projects to the world its laudable historic, cultural, and spiritual traditions through the magnificent Puri Jagannath Temple. Forming a part of the Char Dham Yatra, the temple is amongst the prime pilgrimage destinations in India. The Jagannath's temple history is very old stretching far beyond known times. Mythology talks of a king named Indra Yamuna who came to know of the manifestation of Lord Vishnu in the form of Nilamadhava. The king attempted to bring the deity to his capital. However, it was unsuccessful and the king had to do a severe penance to get a wooden log floating in waters. The king brought the wooden log to his kingdom and one day a carpenter visited him and offered to carve three statues out of the piece of the log to which the king agreed however the carpenter placed a condition that he will carve those statues in a closed room that should be locked from outside and no one should open the door unless he asks for it The carpenter was given a closed room and as per his directions the door was closed and locked from outside however one day against the terms agreed upon king indra yamuna opened the door and found that the carpenter has vanished and the statues of the three lords jagannatha balabhadra and subhadra were left unfinished later an ethereal voice told the king that it was god's will to have such unfinished images and king indra yamuna constructed the lord jagannath temple in puri with the passage of time lord jagannath temple faced several ruins and during the reign from 1078 to 1148 ce a king named ananta varman choda ganga deva again rebuilt the ruin portions of the temple again in the year 1174 ce the odia ruler ananga vima deva reconstructed the entire portion of the temple to bestow the structure that we see today in the year 1558 an afghan king named kala pahada attacked the jagannath temple and it was later consecrated and reinstalled by a king named ramachandra deva The architecture of Lord Jagannath Temple follows the pattern of many Odissan temples of the classical period. The main temple structure is about 65 meter high 
and is built on elevated ground which makes it look more imposing. Comprising an area of about 10.7 acres, the temple complex is enclosed by two rectangular walls. The outer enclosure is called as the Meghanada Prachira and the inner wall is called as the Kurma Veda. There is a presence of a well on the top of the Jagannath temple which is made of an alloy of eight metals or the Ashtadhatu. This well is called as the Nira Chakra or Blue Well. Every day a different flag is tied to a mast attached to the Nira Chakra. Every Ekadasi a lamp is lit on the top of the temple near the well. There are four gates which surround the Jagannath temple. These four gates lie in the four directions. The eastern gate known as the Singhadwara or Lion Gate, the southern gate known as the Ashwadwara or the Horse Gate, the western gate known as the Vyagradwara or the Tiger Gate, and the northern gate known as the Hastidwara or Elephant Gate. Out of the four gates, the Lion Gate or the Singhadwara is the main gate and it lies in front of the temple. The festivals held at Lord Jagannath Temple pull huge crowds from Odisha and from all other states of India as well. These festivals are occasions of great religious experience and devotional fervor which are held every year. The first festival of the year is the Chandana Yatra or the Sandalwood Voice which is the longest festival observed, which takes place in the month of Baisakha and continues for 21 days. In this festival, the representative images of the god are taken in a procession to the famous tank known as the Narendra Pokhari. They are taken round the tiny lake in beautifully decorated and illuminated boats twice each day. The Snana Yatra or the Bathing Festival, also known as the Devasnana Purnima, is celebrated on the full moon day of the month of Jestha. The Snana Purnima is the birthday of Lord Jagannatha. This is the first occasion in the course of a year that the wooden images of the three principal deities of the temple are brought out of this canton in a procession and placed in on the Snana Bedi and are bathed with 108 pitchers of water. On the occasion of Snana Purnima, Jagannatha and Balabhadra are dressed like Ganesha with the head of an elephant. From the Deva Snana Purnima, Till the second day of the bright Asada, the deities are not to be seen on the Ratnabedi. A Ratnabedi is an elevated platform on which the deities sit inside the temple. After the Devasnana Purnima, the deities are worshipped secretly for a particular period. Preparations for another festival named as the Kar festival or the Rathyatra would be in progress and the deities would be seen only for a few hours before they are taken out of the temple to participate in the car festival. The Rathyatra of Jagannatha is commonly known as the car festival. It is also known as the Kundicha Yatra. 
Mundicha was the name of the queen of Indra Yamuna, the legendary builder of the first temple. As Mundicha had initiated this festival, it is known after her name. The Kar festival, which is of international fame, takes place in the month of Asada, which is between June to July every year. It is a nine-day festival when the deities are taken to the Kundicha temple located at a distance of about 3 kilometers from the main temple along the grand road in three gorgeously decorated chariots specially made for each of the three deities. The chariot of Lord Jagannatha is called the Nandi Ghosa, which is decorated in yellow color mixed with red. The chariot of Lord Balabhadra is called the Dalavadhaja, which is decorated in clean color mixed with red. And Subhadra's chariot is named as the Depodalana, which is decorated in black color mixed with red. Normally, the chariots reach the destination or the Kundicha temple by the evening on the first day of the festival. And on the ninth day, the deities are brought back to the main temple on the same chariots. Thus, the deities practically spend full seven days in the Kundicha temple. The return journey is called the Bahuda Yatra and is performed on the same manner as Rath Yatra. It is said that Kundicha temple was the place where Jagannatha had its first manifestation in the present form and therefore it is the birthplace of Lord Jagannatha. The Sayana Ekadasi festival takes place in the month of Asada when the deities are still in their chariots in front of the lion's gate after the return from Kar festival. On this occasion, the images of Vasudeva, Bhubneshwari and Narayana are taken to the chariots. After some rituals are performed there, these images are taken to the chamber of slumber for enjoying complete rest for four months. Apart from these important festivals, there are loads of other festivals which celebrate the glorious heritage, culture and traditions of Lord Jagannatha. It is observed that the flag located at the top of the temple known as the Patitopa Bonobana which always waves in the opposite direction of the airflow. The priest climbs the dome of the temple which stands as tall as a 45 storey building and changes the flag every day. This ritual is being performed since 1800 years. It is believed that if the flag is not changed any day the temple must be sought for next 18 years. A metal wheel at the top of the Lord Jagannath temple is known as the Nila Chakra or the Blue Wheel. The Nila Chakra is a mysterious object. First is the fact that from wherever you see it, it looks almost similar as if it is facing you. The second most interesting fact is that it is built from a hard metal weighing more than a ton and it has been up there on the temple for more than 1800 years. The fact that it was placed up there during that time without any modern machinery is a wonder in itself. Take any place on earth on daytime the breeze from the sea comes to the land and opposite occurs in the evening but around the Jagannath temple it is observed to be just the reverse.
the temple is constructed in such a way that the shadow of the main dome of the temple cannot be observed at any given time. The Mahaprasada is the term applied to 56 food items offered to Lord Jagannatha. Every day throughout the year, 56 varieties of food items are prepared and offered to the deities. This consists of the preparation of rice, dal and other selected vegetables. The food cooked in accordance with prescribed procedures and is offered first to Lord Jagannatha and then to Goddess Bimala, after which it turns into Mahaprasad. The Mahaprasada or the holy food is freely shared by people of all castes and creeds without any discrimination. In all religious and social rituals in Puri and in Odisha, Mahaprasada plays a very important role. Exchange of Mahaprasada between two persons belonging to two different castes binds them in an abiding relationship. Mahaprasada and other offerings made to the deities are sold to public in Ananda Bajara on the northeast corner of the outer enclosure of the Jagannath temple where every day thousands of pilgrims buy and eat various types of food in Ananda Bajara. Mahaprasada is cooked only in earthen pots inside the temple kitchen and the medium of food is firewood only. When the cooked food is carried to the offering hall in slings of earthen pots, no flavor comes off from the food but when the same is offered to Lord Jagannatha and Bimala and carried back to the cell point, a delicious smell spells along in the breach of the pleasant surprise of the devotees. Now the food is placed, Mahaprasada can only be eaten on banana leaf and sitting on the floor. Ananda Bazara is arguably considered to be the biggest open food market in the world. Navakalabara is a unique feature of Sri Jagannath temple tradition. It is a ceremony that falls once in intervals of 8, 11, 12 or 19 years being calculated on the basis of lunar calendar. The word Navakalabara means new embodiment signifying the process where the wooden idols worshipped in Sri Jagannath temple are replaced with new ones. During Navakalabara, a party of priests consisting of different categories of surveyors of the temple like the Brahmins, the Vishwakarma carpenters, the Rajgurus set out in search of a suitable neem tree known as the Daru from which the new idols are to be carved out. This quest for the trees is the first phase of Navakalabara ceremony and is called the Bonayago Yatra. Once the Darus are located, they are brought to the temple by the priests. The Daru is caught, loaded into the pull carts made of tamarind wood and dragged all along the temple from their source by hordes of devotees. Depending on how far away from the temple they are located, they are brought into the temple over the next two months and kept at the Koili Vaikunta inside the temple for carving the new idols. The trees enter the temple before the Devasnana Purnima. This day is the last darshan of the old idols. During the next 45 days, the new idols are carved out, the life substance transferred to them ritually and the old idols are given a ritual burial. The next darshan of Sri Jagannatha in the temple will be after this period on the day of Nabajobana Darsana where it will be the newly carved idol that appears before the devotees.
Lord Jagannath is considered to be the form of Lord Vishnu. The word Jagannath means the Lord of the Universe. Lord Jagannath has an entire family, a brother named Balabhadra, a sister named Subhadra, a wife named Goddess Lakshmi, a father named King Indra Yamuna, a mother named Queen Gundicha. He has a birthplace named the Gundicha Temple. Lord Jagannath has a workplace named the Sri Mandira. He has servants named the Pandas. He has community named the Daitapati. Lord Jagannath needs three times happy meals in a day, five times of special light food. Like any other human being, he fights with his wife and the occasion of his homecoming, he brings Roshagola for his wife to please her. He goes to the birthplace for a week with his brother and sister on a vacation. Lord Jagannath's ritual and festivals comply to the lives of any other human being. Hence, he is known as the Life God. He is the pride of every Odia and has uncountable followers across the globe. Lord Jagannath is considered as the eldest member of the people of Odisha.